study all day Monday too, but maybe by phone, which probably is the only way she can do it, uh, to report it. There's one thing good that happened to her. She's a third class petty officer now. I was tickled to death to hear that she had made a third class. She was excited about that. I guess Michael's mother, that's her boyfriend, she had a stroke. But uh, she came out of it okay, so evidently it was a mild one. They, uh, they seem to be very nice. See, we went and had a, uh, a little dinner. I took your mother to the dinner. I guess she's already told us about the anniversary dinner. It was so, so. Oh, another thing, too, I was leading this personality parade like I always do. And then there's a, an article about Nancy Reagan and Margaret Thatcher. Nancy Reagan carries her hairdresser everywhere she goes, and Margaret Thatcher has her electric hair curlers. And according to this picture here, Margaret Thatcher looks like a lot better. <laughs> Although Nancy is nice, so she, she really has a modern, short little haircut. She is so small, and she looks good in just about anything. They're really having good movies on cable. Movies like Amadeus, Falling in Love, Beverly Hills Cop, 2010, The Cotton Club, Desperately Seeking Susan, The Killing Field, Passage to India, and Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw that Ghostbuster. That was really a silly show. I understand it was really a best, a real good rated movie and very popular, all, but I, I just didn't like it. I did. Well, I've been at the football game, and, and uh, we had a pretty good storm coming in while they blocked when we were playing. Anyway, the game went back and forth uh, through the third quarter into the fourth quarter. And at the end of the fourth quarter, it was still 14 to 14. And the Broncos was playing lousy. Yesterday, we also had one of the biggest rock concerts of our time. It was 17 hours long, and it was to help the hungry in Africa. And I can't believe to tell you how many artists were involved. I don't know. It's, it just uh, really moved me. I, I sent a donation because I think since these artists were so dedicated, that the least that we could do would be to follow through. And that's what that's all about. Everybody has to get involved. Over here at the house, everything looks pretty good. I'm looking at the grass. You know, when you're lazy, even God will help you once in a while. Yeah, I'm supposed to cut the grass pretty soon, but of course it's raining. Uh, it was, I was going to cut the grass right now. It's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was going to cut it at 7 and have it just went down. So I guess I, I get a reprieve until tomorrow anyway <laughs> before I have to cut it. I'm going to start uh, shooting a little bit of motion now that i got a little camera. Dad finally got himself a video camera, so he's got a new toy to play with. But it was always fun to uh, get underway, though, no matter where we was going. But uh, my Navy experience, I guess I'll never forget it. I sure enjoyed being mine was all wartime. Those damn submarines was after us all the time. I guess this week we're going to have a love story by John and Yoko. God, those are actors that are playing those parts. They really look like I can't believe how they look so much like them. Uh, John Lennon is played by Mark McCann and Yoko Ono by Kim Myrie. She's a lot prettier than Yoko. We just want to tell you that we both love you very much. Very much. And wish you were here. And uh, wish you a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. 